Okay, so guys, massive, massive, massive news today. And this uh, news was unveiled uh, as the CEO of uh, AMC uh, had a, an extensive press conference uh, revealing quarterly earnings, a lot, bunch of new news initiatives, uh, uh, even uh, new, new initiatives for its stockholders and as well as its customer base. And it all sounded really great, really ambitious. It was, if you didn't have a chance to check that out, um, I would suggest it. I believe it was about an hour-ish long. The big runaway news from that uh, press conference featuring the CEO of AMC was this. They have made concrete plans to become uh, Bitcoin compliant. By the end of the year, you will be able to uh, pay with Bitcoin uh, at any AMC theater, um, which is major news in terms of overall adoption that we want to see uh, uh, going forward. So um, AMC is, they're trailblazing it, uh, and this is a very encouraging sign. Um, and I'm going to pull this up, a uh, story by Reuters. AMC Entertainment will have technology to receive Bitcoin. <clears throat> by the way, guys, I'm sure you've noticed my voice is shot from uh, broadcasting so much, so that's why my voice is a bit more subdued <laughs> tonight than it normally is, and I have to talk at a, with a softer candor. So um, that explains that. Uh, so uh, here we go. Um, Cinema operator AMC Entertainment will have the technology in place to receive Bitcoin payment by end of year uh, as payment for movie tickets, concessions. The company's CEO said on a call uh, discussing its results. Uh, and uh, so this is great. Uh, this is a pivotal, important step. But if I don't say so myself, as I've been saying on this channel since I started it, I believe we're ahead of the curve uh, in terms of what we know here versus what they know out there <laughs> in the mainstream uh, financial press uh, uh, press class. So what I mean by that is this. Uh, even though this is incredible news, the fact of the matter is, and I say this as a Bitcoin holder, very few people, I mean, very few people are going to be uh, paying for, you know, a couple tickets to Men in, Men in Black 5 and some Juju Bees and some Reese's Pieces with Bitcoin. I mean, let's be honest here. Bitcoin is essentially digital gold. It's a fantastic appreciating <laughs> as, asset moment to moment as a great leverage against fiat. Uh, people knowing that, knowing that there's a super limited number, much like a collector's item, are not going to spend their... Bitcoin on the concession stand, guys. They're they're not going to throw out Bitcoin for, uh, a, you know, an over a couple overpriced diet diet sodas. It's just not going to happen. But what is going to happen <laughs> is, if maybe they maybe they are already maybe the CEO already knows this, right? But <clears throat> what is going to happen is the dawning and the realization <laughs> that uh, in reality, what they call in the business world proof of concept. Uh, there's not going to be a lot of Bitcoin sales. But what we do know through Mark Cuban and a few other uh, outlets where it's been tried, again, we do have proof of concept that people that hold Dogecoin are much more willing to spend Dogecoin. And in part, we have the culture of Dogecoin to thank for that. Um, it's always been uh, widely used as a tipping mechanism back and forth to people, as gifting back and forth to people. Um, and uh, people in the Dogecoin community just seem a lot more eager to spend and vote with their, uh, their dog dollars. Also, uh, it doesn't have a super hard limited cap on it, uh, which means it has a soft annual cap, uh, which means it's never going to get to <laughs> where 50K a Dogecoin. It's never going to get to 10K a Dogecoin. I think maybe, maybe someday it could get to $10 a Dogecoin. Uh, but it's just not structured that way. It's pur purposely been structured to be used as a digital currency that's rather ideal uh, for um, a retail space, 
uh, purchasing both large and small um, for a large amount of people. When Billy Marcus coded and created Dogecoin, it was in part coding, uh, in, car, in, in part borrowed from the coding template of uh, Bitcoin, a Litecoin, and Luckycoin with some added tweaks to make, and they're, but the, the tweaks are, are small, but they seem small on the surface, but they're actually very significant, which um, has led to the, the place where we are right now, where uh, Dogecoin is more well positioned, I feel, than any other coin on the top 10 anyway, uh, to be used on a wide scale and in a retail space. Now, do I think Dogecoin will be the only one that people will be using on a wide scale retail space? No, I don't. I don't. But I think it is the one that's uh, best uh, uh, best uh, situated for that. And furthermore, uh, my last point that I just wanted to add to this is the entire reason why AMC is where it's at right now with a resurgence in shareholders and all this publicity and um, all this excitement and rejuvenation, uh, particularly, uh, which is remarkable considering the nature of a what, what AMC's business is in the midst of this ongoing pandemic, right? But with that in mind, uh, the reason why this has all happened is because essentially uh, from because AMC had become a meme stock and there's a, a very dedicated, passionate movement, the stonks movement that has propelled AMC uh, to the place to where it is, which is why we're all talking about it right now, why it is where it is right now when it arguably could be super dead in the water <laughs> and it's not. As the most recent quarterly earnings have showed, it's exceeded most everyone's expectations. Uh, so with that in mind, too, the Dogecoin movement has a lot. Uh, there's a lot of parallels between what the Dogecoin community and the AMC community and the reason why they are where they are. Uh, so it would just make sense. And just as and that's what I said in my tweet that ended up being uh, getting a like from Elon Musk. I just said it just makes sense. It just makes sense. These are two populist movements, essentially, investing, investor movements. And Dogecoin is people, I am convinced that if they added Dogecoin, people would be spending Dogecoin at the concession stand. People would be spending Dogecoin uh, for the ticket sales. People would be spending Dogecoin on their websites for their, their, their pre-sales and everything else that goes along with the online purchasing with AMC. Um, so I think inevitably, um, they are going to almost have to evolve into Dogecoin or uh, Dogecoin with a short list of other cryptocurrencies uh, to be accepted. Me personally, I think it would probably be most advantageous from a marketing standpoint to keep it simple, uh, to put, put Bitcoin and Dogecoin and maybe add a third down the road after that. Because I think now I... Sadaf, it's my opinion that when a large business all of a sudden says, we accept cryptocurrency, and then I see like eight, I'm like, too much. Me personally, I think that's like almost too overwhelming for like the average person. If you can get just like three maybe and start there or even with two, um, I think that it has uh, more of a higher chance of probability of people actually paying more attention to it and entertaining um, uh, cryptocurrency as a checkout process.